on guys, I'm in advantage and welcome back to another NHL 23 video. Today marks episode number two of our no money spent team in NHL 23. Without any further ado, let's get right on into it. Welcome back to episode number two of my free to play series. I wanted to include a couple different things in here and today a lot of you have been asking me for a team update and I wanted to give you exactly what you came for. Before we dive into that, you're probably wondering how in the world is this team free to play? I've been doing quite a bit of flipping in the auction house. That's where I live and breathe. If you want to check out my series, Becoming Hut Rich, I also put out some of the key flips that I've been making. But as you can see here, I've already sold 1,285 items in the auction house. So we're putting in that work. Um, as you can see in the top right, only 183 coins to show for it. So uh, we got a lot of items uh, up for sale right now and in the collection as well. But wanted to give you guys a quick team update to show that you could do this too and follow along for the journey. I do have a few team builders on the team and some cards here that I've upgraded. So as we go on, I'll let you know really in my opinion if these cards are worth it or not, especially if you're free to play as well. You wanna make sure that you're spending your coins wisely. So starting off on our first line at left wing is the six foot one, 211 pound team builder, Owen Nolan. I do love the fact that he has close quarters on. I've also messed around with one T and Schneid, but again, in my opinion, both of these especially at the only 40 ability points being the max level right now uh not worth activating but close quarters certainly is when you also have light the lamp on him you can see that his wrist shot accuracy and power is pretty much 92 across the board and that combined with close quarters is uh it's pretty amazing he's extremely hard to take off the puck he's fairly fast for his size being 6 1 to 11 and the card art is absolutely crazy at first line center i have Oli Jokinen, six foot two 210 pounds if you played nhl 22 chances are you had him on your team as well last year his card was incredible this card eh. It's not bad, it's just not what I was expecting for it to be. Acceleration 88, speed 89. He is great on the face-offs with silver quick draw, but third eye and tape to tape are pretty much useless for how easy passing is in this game. He's tough to take off the puck, and I do like having him at center, but out of all the team builders that I've built thus far, he's probably the least bang for my buck. Lastly, rounding out our first line is the primetime Connor McDavid, 95 acceleration, 95 speed. I did have unstoppable force on him. I really didn't notice much of a difference. I'm not sure if it's just because his balance and strength are so low or the fact that he's six foot one only 194 pounds but where this card stands out obviously is in his agility his straight line speed and his ability to just break up the ice it's absolutely incredible you can burn by defenders especially this early on in the game and you can see that i have 32 goals with this card in 46 games so he's been pretty solid for me He's extremely quick, and in my opinion, this is absolutely a card you need to chase if you don't have his X-Factor. Coming up on my second line, we have Matthew Barzell. This card goes crazy for me. I love the fact that he has his zone ability in Elite Edges, and I got his X-Factor uh, in a non-tradable pack, so for me, uh, this is definitely one that is 100% worth it. 91 acceleration, 93 speed. I don't even have distributor activated. If I did, it'd bump up his acceleration a bit. But the Elite Edges on this card, is what really makes the difference. Now, as time goes on, he may fall down a little bit on my lines, but he's extremely noticeable out there. My second line center is Austin Matthews, six foot three, 205. Don't really need to explain a whole lot about this card. 41 goals in 65 games. Again, 31 assists, but that's neither here nor there. Where I do notice this card is Matthews being extremely hard to take off the puck and his shots insane. Lastly, rounding out the second line is Keith Kachuk. Six foot two, 232 pounds. He does have silver close quarters. I don't have any of his synergies actually activated right now. If I did, it would improve his stats a bit. I played around with Goldborn Leader, but just not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather spend the four ability points on silver close quarters. His shot is insane. Again, I've only had about eight games with him, as you can see, but five goals and six assists being on my second line. He's so hard to take off the puck at 232 pounds and six foot two. He's a, literally a rock skating up the ice but he's also fairly quick and his shot is unreal. Moving on to the third line, I have Ovi here on the left-hand side, six foot three, 236, obviously a pretty big body. I do like the fact that he has a speed synergy this early on in his X-Factor. Last year, if you had his X-Factor on your team, you didn't have that. So he'd be sitting at, for example, 86 acceleration, 86 speed. With Workhorse, it does bump up his acceleration to an 88. Now you can also play around and do one of these other ones and activate Fly to Zone. I think acceleration on him, and I'm just having Workhorse activated on my team, uh, is really where it stands out. I did have Unstoppable Force activate on him for four ability points back when he was on my first line. 
But quite frankly, it's not even worth it because he's so hard to take off the puck already that you're just burning your four ability points. Obviously, his shot is incredible. And he's extremely hard to take off the puck, which this year in NHL 23, as you can tell, as I'm talking about these players being hard to take off the puck, that's really where there's a skill gap. And I'll have some more videos out on that as the year goes on about how to control the puck in the zone. Next up, we have X-Factor Crosby. So I just did the seasonal collectible set yesterday and was able to pull Sid the Kid. Obviously, only played two games with them. So very low sample size so far. He does have Light the Lamp and Gladiator activated. Also, Unstoppable Force available. But again, Sid the Kid's 201 pounds and 5'11". He's normally pretty hard to take off the puck. Everything's good on him. I really don't love his zone ability at Beauty Backhand, but it's only two ability points, so could potentially be worth it. Also, in my X-Factor choice pack, uh, he was clear by far the best one to choose. So for now, I've decided to upgrade him, being that it's not all that expensive, but I may or may not have this card on my team for very long, depending on how he plays. And lastly, on this line, we have X-Factor Larkin. This card is crazy, guys. Six foot 198 pounds. You can also activate Fly the Zone to bump up his speed to a 93. I don't have that on there yet. Now, I've rocked Elite Edges and Wheels on him. For 14 ability points, it's worth it if he's on your first line. He's down on my third line, and I still have Wheels activated on him. His speed is so fast. And as I mentioned in previous videos, his shooting is much better than what you see on the screen here. He plays a lot like McDavid, but with that Gold Wheels, if you don't have McDavid's X Factor, he's very equivalent to that. And lastly, on the fourth line, we have Jack Eichel on the left-hand side, 6'2", 214 pounds. I do have Light the Lamp on him. Not worth activating anything on the, your fourth liners as far as zone or superstar abilities that are concerned. Eichel in NHL 22, and especially this year in 23, is just a phenomenal card. You can get him for about 15K right now in the auction house. And if you need a fourth liner, he's incredible. At center, we have the six foot 185 pound Jared McCann. I do have a couple of these collectibles. I just need a few more. I'm going to complete more of the challenges and be able to upgrade a little bit here. But McCann right now, even just at an 86 overall, is pretty decent for me. I may move him up the lines as I get him up to an 88. Try out Unstoppable Force. I heard that that's incredible to use on him. So we'll wait and see. But overall, this is a very solid card. And then lastly, we have Johnny Hockey, a little bit smaller, but you can get away using a smaller player this early on in the game. Again, these are my fourth liners, so stats aren't going to be quite as crazy as what you've seen in some of the previous players. But I have played quite a few games with him, and I like his card. Lastly, moving on to defense, we have Kill McCarr in the first line, 5'11", 187 pounds. He's a bit small, but boy, is he quick. This is one of the better right-handed defensemen that you can get in the game right now, and I highly recommend going out and buying him if you haven't already. On the right-hand side, we have another team builder card. It's six foot two, 221 pounds, Fedor Tutin. Now, I played around with some of these. Gold Shutdown is absolutely insane, but I just don't know if it's worth the eight ability points. In my opinion, it's not. Quick Pick is pretty good, as is Truculence. Right now, I have Silver Truculence activated on him. And with 93 body checking and Silver Truculence, you definitely notice this card. He's a big body, and he's been pretty solid back there for defense. Again, I've only had eight games with him, but so far, this is one of the better team builder cards as well. On our second line, we have John Carlson on the left-hand side, 6'3", 216. I played quite a few games with him. As you can see, only two goals and 16 assists. He's not a player that I'm going to be running up into the zone. He's a bit slow, and I do notice that. But this early on in the game and being free to play, I pulled him out of a premium pack, so we're going to keep him out there. Next up, we have Victor Hedman's X-Factor card. I love this card. I have Light the Lamp activated on him. He does have Silver shut down and Gold Stick him up. In my opinion, Gold Stick him up is way, way, way better, especially as his zone ability. He's a bit slow at 86 acceleration, 86 speed, but I'm not really noticing it right now, especially due to the fact that he's 6'6", six 240 pounds. If you're protecting puck with Victor Hedman as well in this game, I've noticed he's extremely hard to take off the puck, being that he has such a long reach and that his size is obviously crazy. I'm debating whether or not it's worth upgrading his X Factor as the year goes on, but right now it's fairly cheap to do so, and it's worth just having the gold stick him up. And lastly, on our third line D pairing, we have Drew Doughty, 6'1", 201 pounds. Don't really notice anything on this card, but again, pulled him out of, a, I believe, a base pack, so we're going to continue to keep him out there for now. And then lastly, on the right-hand side, we have the 6'1", 220-pound Morgan Riley. I've actually noticed this card a bit. He's pretty good offensively, fairly quick. And defensively, he's not a liability. So that's all I can ask for on my third line. Lastly, we have Raymond Krause coaching up the boys in the back, keeping them all in check. And when it comes to our goaltenders, we have Jacob Markstrom, 6'6", 205 pounds. As you can see, he's been pretty wild for me. 44 wins, 9 losses. A couple of those are squad battles. Most of those are online. 1.78 goals against average. Now, I will say that's a bit skewed because a lot of my games were in the two minute period so 
that's gonna be a little bit lower than what we have seen in previous NHLs. I'm sure that'll round out as time goes on. But what is even crazier is his almost 90% <laughs> save percentage, 87.7%. He also does have workhorse, so that helps me out as far as activating that on the rest of the players. I did play around with last stand for just one ability point, but quite frankly, not even worth having. Goalies are so good this year, at least for right now. And in my opinion, Markstrom is one of the best goalies money combined this game at his crazy six foot six size, his low aggression at 70. And really, he's just been solid for me back there. Backup goaltender is really just to activate workhorse. And that's about it. Again, we have light the lamp, gladiator and workhorse activated. As time goes on, I'm going to look to activate a few other ones. But uh, for now, that's what we're rocking with. And then as I talked about before with my abilities, the only players that have anything on are Dylan Larkin with wheels, Owen Nolan with close quarters, Matthew Barzell with elite edges, Keith Kachuk with silver close quarters, Victor Hedman with gold stick him up, Peter Tutin with silver truculence, Ole Okunen with silver quick jaw. That's it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you go ahead and click like. It greatly helps me out, and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to follow the series and see more NHL 23 content, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Again, I'm Man Advantage, and I will see you guys next time.